Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Luciano, and today I want to ask answer a question that sometimes people make in the comments of my videos, and usually it's a, a person that is is going to buy a sword, and they want me to to respond about which one is the best steel for the swords. Sometimes people find swords here in Brazil made of Damascus. Uh, sometimes people say that the sword is, is made of uh, 1090 or 1095 uh, steel, carbon steel. And uh, most of the people don't know about the allies uh, that uh, swords are made. This last week I received a comment of someone who is Want, is wanting to to buy a uh, striped ninja toe made of stainless steel. I already made a video in my my channel on Portuguese uh, talking about the striped ninja toe, uh, which is a, a sword that never existed. It's only a fantasy sword made by the the movies and uh, well i don't have anything against this kind of sword if you want and you desire a uh, strike the ninja toe it's it's the sword that will make you happy then go forward and buy it uh, no problem about it but about the sword being made of stainless steel it's not a very good choice uh, mostly because uh, the stainless steel it's a very hard kind of steel. Uh, stainless steel is made of uh, uh, carbon steel with some adding of chrome uh, to the alloy. So usually you find uh, knives made of stainless steel but uh, anything uh, longer than uh, a knife is not a uh, very good blade uh, if it's made of stainless steel. Uh, people that use the, the stainless steel knives uh, with this smooth edge uh, without any kind of serrations for, for bushcraft or any survivalist activity uh, knows that the stainless steel is a very hard uh, type of, of steel to, to sharpen you will spend a lot of time working in the whetstone to sharpen this kind of knife and it will not get a very fine uh, edge like a carbon, high, uh, high uh, carbon steel uh, blade so it's very hard to sharpen and if you think about a sword that you will be using maybe for tameshigiri for training your cuts uh, then uh, with time uh, this, this kind of harder steel uh, will get dull and you will need to sharpen this sword and I already made a video uh, showing how I sharpen my swords I will put it uh, on the cards of the video but uh, well uh, sometimes people complain about the way that I sharpen my swords but uh, as you can see in, on my video I can sharpen my swords using sandpaper and that's because they are, are made of carbon steel and the, the uh, probably 1060 or maybe below so it's a kind of softer carbon steel and another thing about uh, the this, this steel being very hard is the problem that that is more likely to break than to bend so it's a, a trait uh, if you have a, a steel and for example if I, if I use the, this kind of sword for training and I'm cutting a tatami rope for example and if I hit with the, the edge um, without the proper alignment uh, I will force uh, the structure of the sword and if it is very hard uh, then uh, this sword may break so it's a, a danger uh, for you 
and uh, also if you think about uh, the use of the sword on a real situation of course no one will fight with swords today but uh, if this kind of uh, very hard steel like stainless steel or maybe the 1090 uh, carbon steel uh, were used in the past on real swords on battles then uh, you would have impact of this the swords against uh, other weapons uh, because the, you're attacking your enemy and he's sparing your attack then you will have uh, this impact on the edge of the blade and the edge is a very fine region of the steel and uh, there is the problem your edge will roll uh, to one side or the other uh, but if you have a dent then it's a fracture uh, on the edge of your, your sword oh. and if you studied uh, materials especially the metals then you know that any fracture will concentrate uh, the strain on the material and uh, it's more likely to break on uh, the, the region uh, that you have the, the fracture so it's not a very good thing to have in your sword uh, so if you want to buy a sword and you are searching for the best kind of steel for your sword maybe uh, I recommend you to choose a sword that is made of carbon steel but one that's not too hard like the 1090 or 1080 uh, go with the 1060 and the 1070 uh, because uh, they are more uh, likely the, the carbon steel that uh, was historically used and they are uh, more softer than uh, 1080 and 10, 1090 uh, and uh, like I said before uh, your sword uh, on impact uh, against anything uh, hard uh, being uh, another sword or a bone or any, any hard material that you try to cut with the sword or it will bend or it will break uh, if you force uh, the, the sword too much. Well, that's it people. I hope uh, this video uh, helped you if you are going to buy uh, a sword and if you have any questions please leave it on the comments below and if you're not a subscriber for my channel please subscribe for my channel. Well, uh, I hope you liked this video and I see you later.